students welcome to vidya mirror this video is made for class 6 on chapter number 11 algebra and today we are going to begin with exercise 11.3 from ncert let's begin with question number 1 make up as many expressions with the numbers as you can from three numbers 5 7 and 8 every number should be used not more than once use only addition subtraction and multiplication so here there are three numbers given to us and we can do any sort of arrangement using these three digits 5 7 and 8 making use of either addition subtraction or multiplication now you we can make n number of probabilities over here so few examples are shown here we can do it as 8 plus 5 plus 7 or 8 plus 5 into 7 or 7 into 8 plus 5 or 8 into 5 plus 7 like this and so on you can make as many as you want question number 2 which out of the following are expression with numbers only numbers only means there should not be any variable now for the first case y plus 3 it has a variable y so it is not an expression with numbers only b 7 into 20 minus 8z it has a variable z next 21 minus 7 plus 7 into 2 this is an expression which has only numbers there is no variable over here d part only five number so no variable it's true 3x it is having a variable x so it is not an expression which has number only 5 minus 5n it has a variable n 7 into 20 minus 5 into 10 minus 45 plus p it has a variable p question number 3 identify the operations addition subtraction division and multiplication in forming the following expressions and tell how the expressions have been formed let us do one by one for the a option we have z plus 1 so this is a case of addition and we can write this expression as z is increased by 1 z minus 1 this is a form of subtraction as there is a minus sign here so we can write z is decreased by 1 y plus 17 is a form of addition so y is increased by 17 and y minus 17 is a form of subtraction and we can write it as y is decreased by 17 let's do the next expression 17y so 17y means this is a form of multiplication so y is multiplied by 17 or 17 is multiplied by y any form is correct y upon 17 this means this is a case of division so y is divided by 17 5 z this is a form of multiplication so z is multiplied by 5 or 5 is multiplied by z c part 2y plus 17 now this is having two form of operations 2y when we say it is a multiplication plus 17 we say it is form of addition so this has multiplication and addition and how we are going to write it y is multiplied by 2 and then 17 is added or you can write it in your own convenient form also like for example i can say 2 times y added to 17 like that also you can write next 2y minus 17. Now 2y means multiplication, minus means subtraction. So it also has two form of expressions, multiplication and subtraction, and we can write it as twice of y is decreased by 17. Next, 7m. That is only multiplication. M is multiplied by 7, or 7 is multiplied by m. Minus 7m plus 3. So multiplication and addition. What is it? m is multiplied by minus 7 and then increased by 3 or we can also write m is multiplied by minus 7 and added 3 to it next minus 7m minus 3 so it is a form of multiplication and subtraction so m is multiplied by minus 7 and then decreased by 3 
given expressions for the following expressions now we are there are so many let us write out the expressions 7 added to p so let us write down what does it mean added means plus sign subtracted means minus sign multiplied means we can write the number and a variable together which will show let us see 7 added to p that means p plus 7 we are adding 7 to p so p is already there in p we are adding 7 so p plus 7 7 subtracted from p p is already there i have to subtract 7 from p so p minus 7 p multiplied by 7 so i can write 7 multiplied by p or 7 p also will be correct p divided by 7 that is p upon 7 7 subtracted from minus m now minus m is already there it is the first term we will put minus sign for the subtraction and then 7 so it means minus m minus 7 minus p multiplied by 5 so minus 5 p will be your answer minus p divided by 5 so minus p is a numerator divided by 5 5 will go in the denominator p multiplied by minus 5 so minus 5 p see whenever there is a multiplication case and there is a number and a variable take this point clear that always the numbers will be first and variables will be next we will not write p 5 we will write 5p always. So, number first, variable afterwards. Give expressions for the following cases. Let us see. Now, 11 added to 2m. So, we have to add 11 to where? With 2m. So, 2m plus 11. 11 subtracted from 2m. So, 2m is already there. We have to subtract 11. So, 2m minus 11. 5 times y to which 3 is added. 5 times y means 5y. It is multiplication. And we have to add 3 in it. So, plus 3. 5y plus 3. 5 times y from which 3 is subtracted. 5 times y means 5y. And I have to subtract 3 from it. So, minus 3. Y is multiplied by minus 8. So, first I will write the number and then the variable. So, minus 8y. For multiplication, I don't uh, need to put multiply sign. If I write the number and a variable together, it means it is multiplication only. Y is multiplied by minus 8 and then 5 is added to the result. So, Y is multiplied by minus 8 means minus 8y. In this, I have to add 5 plus 5. Y is multiplied by 5 and the result is subtracted from 16. Now, from 16 means 16 is my first term. So, I will first write 16. It has to be subtracted. So, minus sign. What we have to subtract? Y is multiplied by 5. So, that is 5y. So, answer is 16 minus 5y. Next, y is multiplied by minus 5 and the result is added to 16. Now, minus 5y plus 16 or here I can also write. Now, see the result is added to 16. What is the result? Result means answer. It is added to 16. So, 16 plus in bracket minus 5y or 16 minus 5y that also we can write. Form expression using t and 4 use not more than one number operation. Every expression must have t in it. So there can be so many ways to write down t and 4 using multiplication, addition, subtraction, division. You can use so many terms. The for 2y and 7, 7y plus 2, this can be the next operations. You can use, there is y, there is 2 and there is 7. So, you can use it in this way also. You can use your own expressions also. This is all for this exercise 11.3. I hope it, you must have found it very simple. You have to just 
think how to write it in a expressions form or how you have to write in an equation form using the expressions provided very soon i am going to come with the next video till then see you children goodbye take care